Welcome to Monkey Lizard Mail with Salacious Rob. Go for this, leader. Welcome to another edition of Monkey Lizard Mail. Uh, I'm Bob Rum, uh, and here is your fearless leader, Salacious Rum, chilling. He is still uh, over to the dark side. We're not going to disturb him today. He is meditating on the Force. I'm not Bob. I'm not bloody meditating on the Force. I'm not. What are you talking about meditating on? What about Bob? I'm channeling the dark side. God damn it. I've got a fellow disturbance in the foot with the, my pants. All right, enough of that. Uh, we have some mail. This is from none other than the Peaky Arrow. The Peaky Arrow. Peaky! Peaky! Now, Peaky said he was clearing out some stuff and he had this, these two particular items. And I was like, ah, I used to have one of those as a kid. And I have seen them around. They're not uncommon. Um, but he said, oh, um, mine's pretty much complete. I think it was missing one thing, which he managed to find. I said, well, he said, would you be interested? I said, yes. So um, I'm, he... I didn't make an offer. He said, I, I said, how much? And he, he gave a good price. I was like, okay, damn, let's do it. I didn't say damn. I said, let's do it. Do it. So uh, this is, so he sent it. Now I have already had a little peeky look. I had to. Um, so, but we will do an unboxing here. So uh, these are cool. These are, this is proper vintage. Vintage from the 80s. Okay, so let's do this. I'll cut. I'll cut back. Okay, here we go. So this is uh, this is the package. Now I, I forgot to say. I also said, Peaky, I'm only going to do this if I get. I need some Peaky merch. So he has included. Look at this. Look at this. There he is. Oh, focus, focus. Yes, little peaky look. There you go. England's number one docker. How about that? Look at that. Look cute. Little peaky. And his sticker. There we go. And then, hold on a second. There is his business card and his QR code. Scan that and go and subscribe to the Peaky Arrow Productions YouTube channel. I think that's probably a link to his channel. He's also on Twitter and Instagram. Go and give him some love, the Peaky Arrow. Ah, there you go. Details on the other side, look. There you go. Hit him up. You can also find him on the A38 lay-by. Just past Pat's calf. Probably doing some dogging. Right. So what have we possibly got here that is flat, a kind of A3 size, and here we go, here we go, and is vintage. Now, who remembers these? Now, I only had one of these. I'll tell you which one I had. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Whoa. Hold on a minute, I'm about, this is about to fall, hold on. So here is the first item. It is a vintage official Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles medal action wall chart. And yeah, all, it's, all the medals are complete. They've been stuck on, but this is removable tape actually. Um, and it's not really sticky. So when you take it off, it doesn't damage the, um, it doesn't damage the picture. So it's just there to keep the medals in place. Now, what I don't remember is, I remember these. I don't remember how you would collect the coins, um, but I do remember collecting them. So there's this one. I didn't have this one. I didn't have this one. There's another one. I'm gonna show you the one now. 
here is the other one. This is the one I had. The official medal collection. And it opens up like so. So there is the Turtles fighting Bebop Rocksteady. Then you go down under this underground into the cellar, and there's the coins: Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raffaello, Donatello, Splinter, April, the Blimp, the Turtle Wagon, Krang, my favourites: Shredder, Rocksteady, Bebop, General Trog, Foot Soldier, Casey Jones. This is the one I had, but I never had all the coins, and I think I've still got some of the coins. Loose in my coin collection somewhere in a in a in a in a storage unit somewhere, but this is the one I had. So cool to get both. Let's put them both next to each other. So here we go. So here's both of them. I don't know if there are any others, but these are the two I remember. And this is proper eighties. Uh, what's the date on that? Oh, 1990, that one says. I think this one was 80s. It was late 80s. And this kind of was the end of my toy life, really, I suppose, as a kid. I think after the, the Turtles was pretty much my cutoff. When I got into the 90s, I was into um, be it mountain biking, um, football. Rugby, chasing girls, uh, and then drinking in that order, really, and music. So, but um, yeah, I remember the Turtle movie. I didn't watch any of the other ones, it was just the first one, and then that was it. Um, yeah, so I think they might have been Batman. I don't know if Bat yeah, Batman. It might have been Batman eighty nine after after the Turtles, or before it was around about the same time, and then that was it. So that's really cool. So thank you, Peaky, for giving me first dibs on these. Good price for both of them, and uh, yeah, he was missing one of the coins, but he managed to find it and added added to it. So happy to have these in my collection. These will go. In the wall, on the wall or in a cabinet in the new lair. I don't have a huge turtle collection, but I've got a few pieces. I wasn't a crazy collector. I've actually got a set of the bootleg turtle fighters, which I think are quite amusing. But there you go. Shame doesn't like the turtles. Uh, I, I, yeah. Oh, bless him. Shane, I... I I did a little unboxing with Shane. And he was like, I don't like the turtles. So there you go. That's a thing. Oh, and um, something else happened that was really weird. Um, I have been stopping at Earth Mum's house. And this this was... Uh, this was uh, on the side. So um, it had been delivered. And Earth Mum had put it to the side. But this was also there. And I don't know what that was. It's clearly from Amazon. So I unboxed this. And I was at, so I unboxed this at the same time. And this is what it was. This is right. This is really weird. It's a Turtles mini Lego grab bag. Look. Um who's that? Um Ah, uh, which one is he? He's not Donatello. My, he, he's my, uh, is he Michelangelo? I think he's Michelangelo. Anyway, there he is, little Lego set. And I was like, um, I didn't order that. I was like, I wonder if Peaky threw that in. And I was like, no, he couldn't have because it's from Amazon. And I was like, oh no, maybe he did. Any, in any case, it was Earth Mum. So Earth Mum saw, um, just at the same time, without knowing I'd bought this, saw that on Amazon and bought it. So thank you, Earth Mum, but it was really weird. How weird is it? Like, she hasn't bought me any turtle stuff before, since the 80s. She didn't know I'd bought this. 
But she bought that instinctively on Amazon, had it delivered, and it arrived at the same time that Peaky sent this. I think that's bloody weird. I don't, that's really strange that that happened. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that's weird. That that showed up at the same time as the Turtle Medal Collection. Earth Mum did not know. There's no contact with Peaky. Just a random purchase. Because she knows I like Lego and I like minifigs. And I like these little bags because she collects these for me. So how weird is that? That showed up at the same time. So thank you, uh, Peaky, and thank you, Earth Mum. You've been watching Monkey Lizard Bale. Please smash the like button, leave us a friendly comment, subscribe to the channel, and remember, monkey lizards are for life. They are not for spit roasting. Isn't that right, Slacious? Don't, don't spit roast us, or we'll come and pee on your lawn. <laughs> Cowabunga. Slacious Rum. Out. Thank you for watching Monkey Lizard Mail with Salacious Rum. Please smash the like button, leave us a friendly comment, subscribe to the channel, and remember, monkey lizards are for life, not for spit roasting. Goodbye, everyone.